first thing we're going to do before installing our lights is make sure that our surfaces are all prepared properly. They must be very clean and we accomplish that by cleaning either with an alcohol or lacquer thinner. We prefer the lacquer thinner. And it's what we use uh, to clean back in all the spaces where we're going to apply lights. Any place that tape, tape is going to touch must be cleaned very well and then promoted. And we use this uh, 3M promoter, which is in your kits. And this promoter is uh, the key to these lights never coming off. This tape, once it comes into contact with this promoter, think of it as a primer for tape. Uh, it sticks and you have to scrape it off to get it off. So we're going to be using this promoter but before we do we're going to clean the surfaces with a lacquer thin. And to do that I'm just going to take a piece of paper towel I've got my lacquer thinner here and I'm going to soak it good and I'm going to clean every place I'm going to install lights. Well that would be under the tank and I don't care how clean you keep your bike you're going to go into these places and you're going to find dirt. Now, you're not going to find much there generally, but when you come back here, you're going to find something. See? It's there. So it's got to be cleaned well. We're going to clean here. We're going to be installing on the back of this battery box. So I'm going to clean that surface back in there real well. And I'll go to the other side and clean up underneath the tank over here and again we're mounting you've got to go in a ways on this side because the surface is not out as far out to the over the engine as it is on the right side which is right there here you've actually got to go in and you want to be careful there's a bunch of lines and vacuum hoses and things underneath here and you don't want to pull those off back behind the horn cover We'll be installing a strip, so we're going to clean that well. And I've already got my battery box. The last thing, and I use a little bit more lacquer thinner here, is on the frame underneath. And this particular bike. We're going to have to split that piece up into two nine light strips and bring everything right here forward, right underneath the engine, because the frame rail itself is limited in the amount of space that it has to install the lights. There's a big weld right here, and it goes all the way back so that we're not able to put any lights down in this area here. To do so, we'd have to put them on the outside. You'd see them, and they wouldn't look good. So we're going to put them on the inside of this area right here, on both sides of the bike. So I'm going to go clean the other side. And that good and clean tends to be an area where there's always you're always going to find grease and dirt down there near the road. Now that we've cleaned, we're going to use our promoter. And what I'm going to do is just peel it open like this. And I really don't want to get this stuff on my hands, because it's nasty. It's, it gets all over, it doesn't come off, it collects dirt, and you'll have the stuff on your hands for a good week. You see there's a little yellow sponge in there, and that's got the juice on it that you're going to need now. So I'm going to take a hemostat. And this is something you can find at a flea market where they sell medical equipment. And I'm going to reach down in there and grab that sponge with my hemostat. Then I'm going to swab the areas that I just cleaned where I'm going to be mounting the lights. Right there, back on the back plate, the breather. On this side, under the tank, on that inside wall, way in. And this needs to come everywhere the lights are going to be. This is what makes it stick. This is the magic juice. 
and up under this horn. A little bit different horn here on this Dyna. Not your standard cowbell. It's going to give us a little trouble, but we're going to get lights on it. And then back on the back of the battery box here. Normally this would either be the bottom of the oil tank or on that place on the frame. On those touring frames above the starter. But the whole idea is to get light down on in the inside in this compartment area right here. All right, now the only thing left I need to promote my frame here on this side. Now you'll notice I've done this whole promotion job with one pad. It's because I, number one, I had a good juicy one. We give you three just in case. One of them's a little dried out. Sometimes that happens. But I've done it all with one. And as long as you don't leave these out in the heat, I could probably continue to use it. There's probably still a little bit of juice in here. And if I put that back in there like this with my hemostat, this one's pretty well dried because I've done the whole bike. But let's say I've just done a couple of spots. Put it back in. Fold it over. And keep it from drying out. That's the trick. Okay, so all of the bike now has been promoted, cleaned and promoted, and we're ready to install the lights. And where's my remote control? Thank you.